Tonight at the White Sox game tonight at Guaranteed Rate Field, the team is honoring Childhood Cancer Awareness Month. WGN's Patrick Elwood is there, where the team honored a special guest. Hi, Pat. Ray and Micah, good evening to you. For Brady Nelson, life has certainly thrown him a curve. But out of left field comes Aloy Jimenez, and together they're swinging for the fences. In what has been a thrilling division leading season for the White Sox, nobody in this park comes to play with more joy than Aloy. Well, tied for first with him in that category tonight is this little champ, Brady Nelson. From one grown up kid to one kid grown up, 12 year old Brady and the left field ball crushing number 74 have become fast friends. What if your guy hits another home run, dude? That'd be pretty cool. You see, Brady, after days and days of headaches around Thanksgiving last year, a tumor was discovered in his brain. After surgery, it was determined the tumor is glioblastoma, an extremely rare form of pediatric cancer that is as aggressive as it gets. Parents Eric and Christina Brady, yeah. say it was that quintessential punch to the gut. Fall on the ground, cry. Kind of moments. I think I almost laughed at first because I it was like, It seems so unreal. Like, is this for real? After Aloy, whose grandfather died of cancer in 2017, learned that he was Brady's favorite player, he sent him this personal recorded message while he was recuperating from shoulder surgery earlier this year. Uh, you know what? You are my favorite fan. My first homer is going to be for you. I'm going to point to the camera like this. And I'm going to do this for you. To come to him. Like that. Oh, Eloy Jimenez. Do not walk anyone in front of him. Wow. And he did that back on July 27th against the Royals. Wow. How cool is that? Since then, their friendship has only grown stronger. Tonight at parks all across MLB, it is Childhood Cancer Awareness Day. It kicks off Childhood Cancer Awareness Month in collaboration with Stand Up to Cancer and the St. Baldrick's Foundation. A cause near and dear to my heart and head for almost 20 years now. At tonight's game, all players and coaches will be wearing gold in solidarity for the cause. The 20,000 American kids diagnosed each year. The Nelsons are super thankful. It's great of the White Sox. They've been great to our family for a while now. The cure rate is 80%, so there's much more work to be done. As for Brady, he plays a pretty decent second base, he says. And everybody is hoping we'll look back on this battle as just one chapter in a very long book of life of his. So how are you feeling tonight? How do you feel physically? You look great. I feel good. So just what does Brady want to do when he grows up? I don't know. Be a sports reporter, I guess. One, two, three. Go. Go Sox. All right. <laughs> Thanks, dude. So, so uh, Dan Rowan and my friends in the sports department take note. I promised this young man a, a sports internship in about eight or nine years, so make it happen. Mm -hmm. uh, Brady has received 30 radiation treatments, some chemotherapy as well. Friends have set up a, a GoFundMe page. If you want to check it out, we'll link it to this story at WGNTV.com. Having fun at the old ballpark tonight. Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Back to you guys at the station. Way to go, Brady. All right, we appreciate that. Thanks a lot.